Oh no. I wasn't paying attention to the timer. I was on my phone. On Twitter. Reading through memes. Yes, anyways, today we're playing meta sweaty decks. Which meta sweaty deck should I play? Virtual world, please, in my absence. You want me to play virtual world? Well, only because you're sick. With the super flu. Alright guys, it's time for Adventure Virtual World. Cloud abuse. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be memes. I need to delete one of these decks real quick. We can delete this one. This deck exists purely to piss people off. Border Paleo. <laughs> I wish there was a better way to save decks than just uh, take screenshots of them. Say hi to Shen Shen for me. Virtual. How do you spell virtual? Shen Shen. Let's see. Why is Lao Lao under restrictions? Whoa, this card exists? During the battle phase, if you control another virtual world gate card, you can target one face at monster in the field, changes battle position. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one virtual world monster in your graveyard. Spell does not negate its effects. Whoa, so this is the core, I believe. I don't think you play any of the other ones. Send it to the graveyard. That's not a half bad effect. What does this one do? Nothing. What does this one do? If his XYZ summoned card is destroyed by a battle opponent's attacking monster, by an opponent's card effect while the monster's zone, you can spell some two virtual world monsters with different types of attributes from each other from your deck. <gasps> Zuan is actually good. This one? Juju? Fan Fan? Wait, which one are you talking about? Juju and Fan Fan can be good? Hmm. If you say so. What about Long Long? We'll play it. I don't care. You can play level 6 Synchro if you wish. I will. Long Long? No? What? When your opponent activates the effect of monster with an attribute that is not on their field while they control phase up monster, you can detach two materials from this card and negate the activation. If you do, you can only use effect once per turn. Oh, I know what I'm going to play. Cloud. Castle. Uh, the v true king of all calamities. He's so bad. Okay, <laughs> the XYZ summon Zeus. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I always spell Zeus wrong. Zeus. And then, uh, Cloud Castle. Yeah, I'm gonna use Cloud Castle. Vermilion. Vermilion Dragon Mech. Uh, Geo, Math, Mech, Final, Sigma. And then we have, uh, Coral, Dragon. And then we have Stardust. Stardust, Charge, Warrior. And then, what else are we missing? Uh, Gossip Shadow, I believe. And then to Zulkin. And then Clear... Crystal, Clear Wing, Synchro Dragon. No, it's it's the other one. It's uh, uh Barone. Wait, you can go on, you can't go into Barone. No gossip this time. Break sword. Did you choose violence today? Well it's because it's gonna reset anyway. With adventure you can? Oh, okay. Barone. I don't know how to spell Barone. Barone. Like this. Floor. <laughs> Bar oh, I was I was a little just a little bit off. Barone. You can't spell. I was gonna say shut up, but I'm being respectful today. Let's see here. Um. 
Adventure. Breaksword? Who's Breaksword? <laughs> One of these, one Draco back, one Fateful Adventure. Break Sword? Wait, why Break Sword? What's the combo with Break Sword? It's just another pop for level threes. Call your deck for realsies. Sweaty gamer time. There's no level three to go into Zeus. Oh, okay. We don't play any level 6s, do we? I guess Fan Fan is a level 6. But he's just a pop. I already have Zeus in here. And then we fill out the rest with just generic hand traps. Hmm. Are there any other, like, really basic cards you could play the better level 6s? These are all the good level 6s, though. Are there any, like, really good main deck cards that I'm missing from this? Or can I just fill it with generic hand traps that will counter the meta? Like the the imperm, the the feather duster, the twin twisters for Mathmech OTK. Christron triple droll? Droll and Lockbird? Oh Droll. Ghost Bell. People aren't playing DPE anymore. Oh yeah, Maxi. I forgot about that. Where's the Ash? Drone Lockbird shuts down whole turns, or his Ash only stops one play. Cringe. Ash is better because it's a tuner. Oh okay. There we go. Ogre. Ogre is good too. But Ash is more versatile. I see no called by the grave. Oh yeah. I forgot. One Ash's pain here. We'll play three Ash Blossoms. We'll play one Maxi because there's lots of flu. Actually, we'll just forego Maxi completely because of all the flu. The the flu underies. Are you making a sweaty deck without DPE? Yeah, this one doesn't really go into DPE. That's just probably the best non insect hand trap in the game. Who plays Maxi? I know, right? Cringe. Can't be sweaty without Nibiru. Oh, Nibiru's not half bad. There we go. But the thing is, now we need to cut two cards. And this is already perfect as is. I can only cut some tech cards. Like, I'm not going to cut infant permanence. I could cut some copies of Ash. You only need two copies of Shush. I'll cut one copy of Shush then. You need Lightning Storm? I'm playing Twin Twisters over Lightning Storms because Virtual Worlds play lots of face up cards. And two copies of Queen Glong. Which one's Queen Galang? Gigi, Lili, Lao Lao. Wait, why only two copies of Gate? This is your main searcher. Shouldn't you be playing three of them? The spell, really? All right, if you say so. Okay, we're we're missing one more card for the extra deck. What card am I missing? I think I have everything, but we could just play another Cloud Castle. Constellar M7. Gotcha. Alright, we're good to go. No cross out? Psh, cross out is lame. Utopia? Hmm. Who would we replace with Utopia, though? Sweaty decks. Get this. Fafan? Okay. 
Utopia. Utopia Beyond. Non-target. Lower all their attacks to zero. Sweaty Gamer Time. Hello, Mr. Logs. What will you do today? We're going to do Sweaty Gamer Time today. Clear wink. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. It's not clear wing. It's something else. It's uh Synchro level eight. I can't remember his name. This one. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, not Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. We can just remove Virtual World GG for it. You can't be sure about it. you have two more monsters in the graveyard. Card effects, you can banish two monsters, target one card in the fields under the graveyard. Hello, is this the Yu-Gi-Oh! VTuber? No. Must be thinking about someone else, because that's not me. Take out Gossip Shadow? Okay. Number 75 could go. Let's go. I need to climb to Diamond by the end of the two hour mark, otherwise I'm not a sweaty gamer. Perfection. Let's go to Diamond. You think I can hit Diamond in uh, the next one hour and 45 minutes? I don't even know what's playing with the live 2D playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, this is just my face cam. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Ooh, if you have no monsters, you can normal summon this card from your hand without tribute. Excellent. I believe in you. You play Yu-Gi-Oh for a living. I am a professional Yu-Gi-Oh gamer. You're going to try to max C me? Oh, wait, I think I did that wrong. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Quinklong. Time for the maxi challenge. Select a card to send from your deck to the graveyard. Look at all these cards in the graveyard now. Target. Virtual world card. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Okay. Quinglong. What is this combo? I'm doing my best. Don't yell at me. Lulu, and then we send a beer to the grave. Okay, and then we special summon out Lulu. Targeting this one, doesn't really matter. Send Shush to the grave. Special summon. Select City. <gasps> they don't have any other hand traps to stop my plays, really? We love clicking buttons. I'm not clicking buttons. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gaming right now. Okay. So, what we could do... Let's see, a tuner, non-tuner. All I have a whole bunch of non-fucking tuners out here. Okay, I need to think through my plays real quick. So, with this board right here and no other searches... And no other way to get any other tuners out on the field. Synchro climb. I can synchro climb, but the thing is, what I want to do is go into Shenshen, lower its level, and then have a level, level 3 on the field. But I don't have any of the level 3s on the field. So I need to just think of, like, one thing to go into. If I go into this one, I can't do anything. If I go into this one, I can draw a card, and maybe I can get another Virtual World card. So we'll just go with that for now. When we climb a little bit higher, we could also go into Tzulkin, I guess. <gasps> Unless they have Nibiru. Go Sigma? I could go into Sigma too. That would work. Mathmag is your best move, probably. Probably. I want to see if Tzulkin will net me something. Oh, wait, wait. Am I locked into anything? Can I do this? I should be able to do this, right? Can't be Nibiru. Oh, an Ash animation. Fine, I'll go into Final Sigma. 
You don't have a spell? No, but I do have uh, infinite impermanence in my hand to set. The Coral Dragon to draw a card. Uh, activate the effect of- Oh, fuck! This card can summon from the graveyard! Ah, oh, I forgot! <laughs> Select a card. Lulu. You forgot? Shut up. Don't don't make fun of me. I'm trying my best. Select a card to discard. <laughs> then we can go into virtual world Kyubi Shenshin. And if I had one more special summon, I could go even further beyond. Okay. Alright. So we have a floodgate, we have a, a pop, and we have a negate. Is like a card to add to your hand? Lulu, of course. You can hard summon Zeus? I could, but that'd be very irresponsible. I have a question. If it's my turn, then I enter the battle phase to evenly match my opponent. If I chain MSD to it, does my opponent have to banish everything since there won't be cards in the field? No, because um, MST will enter the, the chain and your opponent will be able to keep two cards now instead of one. Pot of Prosperity. They're playing a layer of darkness deck with floodgates that don't affect me. Whoa. I've never heard you swear before. It doesn't bother me. It's just jarring. Do you cut them out of your YouTube videos? Uh, yes, they're all censored, and I don't ever say swear words. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that doesn't work that way. He actually just wasted it. That's good news for me. We'll use this to pop the field spell immediately. Virtual World Gate. Chooch. We return two cards to the deck. Oh, I forgot this deck cycles itself. Oh, <gasps> that's so good. Irresponsible, bro. You crafted three copies of Graceful Tear. Now that's irresponsible. I? I didn't do that. Oh, no, they had another one. That's fine. I have infinite impermanence to stop any effects they might put down. The problem is they can tribute my cards for cost. That's That's the biggest thing I'm worried about right now. Mr. Logs Pomo 266 times. No, I haven't. Negated the unaffected. Maybe he didn't think it would be unaffected. He should have negated Virtual World Kyubi Shenshen. Maybe he's trying to figure out why he can't use some of his cards because Shenshen locks down his field. No, actually, it only locks down the field, not his hand. Come on, give me tokens. Alright, I need to banish two cards. Ooh, Twin Twisters. Fuck. Is there a way to add a card to my hand? What does this one do? You can discard one psychic or worm monster. Suppose on this card is a tune of a banshee when it leaves the field. Also, rest of the turn, you can summon length three higher monsters. Hmm. If I just blow up this card, Layer of Darkness, I don't have to worry about shit. I am going to lose my Hime. I could probably just blow through his field if I just do this. Doesn't really matter. Select a card to target. Virtual World Gate. Shoosh. I can just use Shoes to pop the card if I'm just patient. I'm still first. <gasps> skill Drain? It's fine by me. I can do all my combos under Skill Drain. <laughs> you absolute buffoon! Let's see, do I need any of these cards? It would probably be nice to have Nyan Nyan in the grave, but I think I probably want... I don't have anything to discard for it. We'll send Yan Yan. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Sure. Virtual gate. Send and then search. <gasps> Ballista Squad. No, not my Shen Shen. <gasps> not my Shush. 
Now I can't destroy his layer of darkness anymore. Another gate? <laughs> Wait, what? And that card? Okay. Bye bye, Shinch. I mean, he's just gonna come back. I didn't really do anything. Wait, do I not have two separate cards to bring him back? Except to turn this Carva sent to the graveyard. Oh, okay, never mind. He's coming back later. Um, let's see. I guess. I don't really care if he has skill drain on the field because I can just bring it back. Those other two cards, though. Might as well get rid of them, you know? And that one. And that one. Trap trick. Okay. Virtual world is today's flavor? Yes. What is the other card? Something you can't use? Because you can only tribute one of my cards per turn. You still got me on that card advantage. A pinpoint guard, which can be activated this turn. And then another card. <gasps> Virtual World Gate! I can add one card and then discard it immediately if I'm dumb. The Spooder chose violence today, and it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. Token Collector. Replay the attack? No. You can keep your Token Collector. Oh, <gasps> look at all these tokens I get! And then I get Virtual World My Hime Lulu. My field is completely set up for next turn. VFD would have lost you the game? That's true, it would have. <laughs> VFD actually would have been the bad move against this deck because I don't really use monster effects uh, effectively. Super Poly. <gasps> He's going to go into Starving Venom Fusion Dragon? Have you ever making a deck with only a single copy of every card? I have. Triffy over Utum. This will allow him to add out Final Sigma. But only if he crashes into it and both of them die. Oh no, level 3 token. Whatever are we going to do? Monster reborn? He's going to reborn it outside of the extra monster zone so that it's completely useless? Whoa, you got me. Imagine reading. I know, right? Harpy's Feather Duster. Well, shit. Uh, I can use this to get a search at the very least. I don't really care about those two cards on the field. Let's see here. I can search out a Lulu. And then discard the Harpy's Feather Duster. Then we can activate Virtual World Kyubi Shenshen. Banishing two cards. Let's see, we can banish this one and this one. Look, Shenshen, he's my best friend. And now that I have a Virtual World card in the field, I can use my Kimeg Lulu. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Uh, gate. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Yes, this one. Why not? Okay, and then what we can do is special summon another card from the graveyard. We have a level 3. We can also increase its level by 1. We can go up to level 6. Uh, our effects are negated right now, so the biggest thing we need is... Oh, skill drain is actually kind of a problem. Um, what we need to do is go into something that can equal its attack and then just crash into it because it's a big beat stick right now. So, the fastest way to go into a big beat stick 
probably Utopia Beyond two rank six, but if we look into the synchros, Crystal Wing Synchro can't come out without card effects. Barone, we didn't draw into any adventure stuff this whole duel now that I realized it. Hmm. So we need to go into one of the rank sixes. So in order to do that, we'd have to bring out a level six monster. We can use this to special summon one of the level sixes. Do we have one in the grave? We do have one in the grave. And then we can banish Shush to make another one level six. So, just one of the two level sixes. Okay, let me send this card to the graveyard. Alright, and then we use Shush to increase the level of this card. Increase the level of it by three. Alright, then we can go into Utopia Beyond. Was being brought out exclusively for its high attack stats. Will you do a hot tub stream? Yes. You know it. Okay. <gasps> activate Shen Shen? No, the effect won't activate. No need to waste time. There we go. And then we have the immortal Shen Shen who comes back every turn. And my 1,000 attack token. Oh my god, I outvalued his his board with all of those... Those maxis. The big numbers go burr. This deck requires way too much thinking now that I think about it. <laughs> my thinking prowess is gone. He attributed the card for cost. Oh no. He's gone. When is the beach vacation episode? Man, if I just had one more shoosh, I'd be able to pop the field spell. What, you get the tokens? Give me the tokens. That's not fair. Feet. Wait, why are you guys spamming feet? Nothing about this is feet. Let's see. Oh, we can use Gate in order to go into another card. Awesome. First, we'll use Shen Shen to banish some shit from the grave. Oh, because of Ash Blossom? I have a question. Why is the Beach Vacation episode Kipo? What? What? What Beach Vacation episode? What are you talking about? Select a card to activate. All right. So, I can use... Oh, I can go into Lao Lao and special summon a card from the graveyard. Is Lao Lao a tuner? He is a tuner. Do I have any non-tuners in the grave? I can go to another rank 6 if I wanted to. An M7 is a 2700 attack beat stick. This card can recur me advantage during the end phase. And just come out as a 1000 attack beat stick. My Hime searches other cards, but only if I have a non monster on the field. What does this one do? Just sends more to the grave? We'll probably go into Lao Lao. And then send Ash Blossom to the grave since it's actually useless. Wait, there's something else in the grave? Or is it just Shush? Oh yeah, it's this one. I can also use this to come out, but that's dumb. Activate. Targeting Virtual World Kyubi Shen Shen. Sending Gate to the grave. Damn, without... Shoosh, I'm not going to be able to recur any of my advantage, so if I go into a level 6... Now, if I go into a 3, I can also go into a level 9. But I'll just go into a level 6. Okay. And then we'll go into M7, who can't do anything under Skill Drain. Maybe I should have got rid of Skill Drain when I had the chance. Wait, when did they give M7 an animation? Whoa. Okay, and then destroy this card. Yeah, Tao Tao is very situational. Any suggestions for Tiara Turbo? Uh, yeah, just use the deck I used from like two days ago on my clip channel. It's probably the best deck to do it. Oh, <gasps> enemy controller. <laughs> Fuck.
doesn't work in the TCG. I think I'm just going to run out of resources at this point. <laughs> Especially since he can, uh, I think I'm going to get out resource because of Virtual World's inherent discard one in order to do all their plays. Is this guy running? He's running a layer of darkness deck. Hmm, blasting through his field. We can't use the effect because we don't have enough resources to do anything. Shush can blast through one of his cards. <laughs> the fact that he also gains tokens every turn is... Annoying. Shouldn't he give me a token? Since you're tributing my cards... Make VFD? Are you getting Pobood yet? What a combo. He just keeps drawing his one ofs to because he, he inherently goes plus one in card advantage every time he tributes one of my cards. So unless I draw something absolutely cracked, I'm ham boned. I just got a normal sum. We don't have any more virtual worlds in the deck to do anything. Oh, I can go into Cloud Castle now? Or Vermilion Tech Dragon? Whoa, that would be useless. Maybe just give him more targets. Wait, he can't do anything? <gasps> Did we finally plow through his defenses? Oh my god, thank god. This guy was annoying. <laughs> what deck? What did he have face down? Was it Waking the Dragon times two? Oh boy. That required so much brain power. No wonder you played this deck. I didn't draw into any of my adventure creatures. What the fuck? The whole duel, not a single adventure card? You have got to be kidding me. Um... I think I might want to play Foolish Burial, get rid of this card, and then maybe even play Metal Foes Fusion, since I'm discarding so much from my hand to use my effects. You can switch out something at a third shoosh. I think, I think we're good. I can probably ditch Nibiru or one of the Ash Blossoms. Duologs admitting Leia has a big brain? Dude, she's like an actual robot scientist. When is the beach vacation episode? Kipo? What's Kipo? There's still first? Oh yeah, people didn't claim all the firsts. Show for fun? No adventures again. Oh my goodness gracious, you've got to be kidding me. Activate Virtual World Keelin. <gasps> You're not going to stop this, are you? Oh, come on, you asshole. You can't do this to me, Biggie Smalls. Okay, whatever. I don't even care. All right, and then we send, this is important because this will get me Lulu. What are you gonna do now? DD Crow? Oh, come on. <laughs> You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Let's see here. I, I don't have my search in the graveyard. I don't have anything in my hand. I can just go into Shen Shen, I guess. It's a single Shen Shen pass. And then we'll set a gate and end. I only have one card banished, so I can't do anything with it. 
Hello, I'm new here. Nice to meet you. Hello, there's Soul's Light. Okay. I'm pretty sure a single Shen Shen can help me versus my opponent who use two hand traps to stop my plays to an extent. Whoa! Nothing? Oh my god, what the hell? <gasps> this is X. Oh, and I even drew into a My Hime! Oh my god, this hand is even better. Okay, we'll activate gate. Activate My Hime Lulu targeting gate. That way we can send another Quinglong to the grave. Then we activate this in order to add Lao Lao to my hand. Then we can activate Lili, targeting gate. This time we can send Yen Yen to the grave. Then we can send, all right. All right. Um, then what we can do is go into Cloud Castle, Vermilion, we could go into Geomathmic Final Sigma, using these two cards, in the extra monster zone for big damage. Okay, then we can use Lao Lao Lushi. Uh, I wish I could get the other Shush in the grave, <laughs> I actually want it in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> this would allow me to do bigger combos. Alright, um, send one of these to the grave. Sure, we'll send this to have a generic level 3 that we can't use right now. Summon a card from the graveyard. Oh, <gasps> I can bring back Shen Shen with Lao Lao? Oh my god, I had no idea. I could also just go into Cloud Castle to bring it back. Let's see, he's a level 3. This is a level 6. So if I bring out a level 3, I'll be able to summon Nian Nian. Okay, Nyan Yan. You only play one Klinglong? No, I play two of them. Skullmeister? Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me. Glizzy Goblin, what are you doing? Does your deck exist solely to screw me over? Okay, we go into Cloud Castle. And then Cloud Castle to bring back Shen Shen. <laughs> Man, this deck can power through hand traps. Holy shit. Let's see what his deck was. Oh, it was just Numeron. They must have just drew the hand traps and none of the other like combo starters. I was thinking about playing Numerons too. I was like, that's probably a good way to just rank up really quickly without having to think very much. Lame, it was just the Numerons. First to go. Numeron must be the most boring deck. Yeah, but you can get the most amount of plays with it. If you want to rank up quickly, what you want to play is a good deck that can also just um, power through a whole bunch of games. <gasps> is this the first time I've actually drawn the adventure cards? Whoa, you've got to be kidding me. Banish this card. No response. Right of Aramashir. Uh, you guys must be patient for letting me do this to them all the time. Well, I mean, they're there to, to watch you play the game properly. Okay, Fateful Adventure. Let's add Griffin Rider to hand. Send Ash Blossom to the grave. Special summon the Griffin. So that way we can equip Draco back. Draco back, the writable dragon. And then do nothing else because we didn't draw any other virtual world cards. You need at least two of them to do your plays. Drop Fateful first? No. I mean, I could have. That probably would have been a prudent idea. <gasps> Opening of the Spirit Gate? Yeah, once per turn, discard one card, spell someone monster. Oh, that's fine, whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to waste my negate on that. 
Ah, oh, yes, the sacred beast. Excellent. <gasps> the sacred beast of the Lord of the Summoning. You can tribute this card, spell to summon one from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Oh, relinquished anima. Uh, okay. That's one way to force the negate. I'm getting sacred beasted. Played like a fiddle? Exactly. Spells on level 1 fiend monster, zero attack and defense from your graveyard. Not playing around anima. Shut up. I'll play around it next time. Oh, <gasps> Raviel, Lord of the Phantasms. Had one fallen paradise? No. I need to be able to affect your cards to bounce it. Cross out. Oh my god. This is bad. They have everything. They drew the perfect hand. Not really. They just had like one hand anti hand trap. No. Cannot be. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while you control the. Oh, just destroyed? That's it? Oh, cannot target and cannot destroy. Oh my god, you've got to be fucking kidding me. And he drew into Harpy's Feather Duster. Well, if I just draw into one Virtual World card, I can do something. This man literally had the best hand ever. He did have a pretty decent hand, I'll give you that. <gasps> not half bad? Only not half bad. This isn't actually that good. <laughs> Drew his starter and all the outs. Oh yeah, he did. He was able to just plow through my field. Pretty much the god hand for Sacred Beast. <laughs> of course he has an Ash too. <laughs> Oh my god. Completely countered. Oh no, he draws two cards every turn. Damn, if he didn't draw into a Harpy's Feather Dust or two, I would have at least had my adventure token live. Yeah, he drew every possible out. If I had just drawn one other v virtual world beast card, I was going to the battle phase. And then the hand trap for a big blast of damage. You should really nerf the sacred beast engine. I mean, all I ended on was the adventure token engine, since I didn't actually draw any of my other pieces. It happens. Whoa. No, they don't need to be nerfed. No, they need more, more, better supports. And transfer some of that support over to the, the god cards. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is a good hand. <gasps> Lost World? Oh no, Lost World completely counters all my virtual world strategies. It's a good thing I have Twin Twisters. I just watched Coders and DK's videos. What do you think of this drama? What drama? I didn't watch either of those videos you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Allosaurus! Thanks for the sub, Ryzen. Oh no, now we have to sit here and watch, wait through dinosaur plays, because I didn't draw any hand traps. I 
You did Caden Coder are going at it or something? Oh, I don't give a shit. Miscellaneous is such a broken card. Oh yeah, miscellaneous could be chained to my hand traps anyway. All the ones I have uh, target the cards on the field, so it's already countered by Lost World. Link Karibo. Miscellaneous Saurus. He has three cards in the grave. He can special summon up to a level three dinosaur monster from the deck now. Which will he elect to go into? Two. Is he going to go for another baby Sarasaurus? He is. Is he going to destroy it with Oviraptor to pop and special summon from the graveyard and then special summon a card from the deck? Okay, baby Sarasaurus from the grave, proccing baby Sarasaurus. Okay. Scrap Raptor. To pop another card in order to activate the scrap engine. How is he going to use his scrap engine though? Another baby Sarasaurus. Did he just baby Sarasaurus a baby Sarasaurus? How's my first live stream for you? I love your clip channel. I wanted to suggest putting card rotator in your spider deck. Card rotator? What's... Is that the card I think it is? The one where you have to discard to change all your opponent's monsters to defense position. Let me double check. Scrap Raptor destroys the scrap. No card was found. Card Rotator. Yep, that's that one. No, I know about that card. The reason I don't use it is because it's bad. It's a minus one to flip all your opponent's cards into defense position. When well, you can just use Earthquake to accomplish the same thing without a discard. And I rarely play Earthquake. <laughs> the Exploding Dinosaurs. <laughs> so the Scrap Chimera version of this engine. Oh, I guess that makes sense. The other one's more for Machine Monsters. Scrap Chimera for another Scrap Raptor. Oh my god, look at all these cards. Mr. Log, it's time to take a quick nap. They're not going to end anytime soon. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't open up any hand traps. The thing is, dinosaurs are really good about playing through hand traps anyway. Appalooza? Fuck, that's bad. Where's Bish Bulkin? I could really use a hand trap for that Appalooza. Okay, what are they going into next? And a Borlode Savage Dragon? Do they have a Link Monster? Oh yeah, they have Scrap Chimera in the grave. Scrap Wavering, I mean. And a Link Karibo. Oh boy, I don't have any going second cards. Uh, I'm not playing through this field. This ain't happening. I can play Twin Twisters and have it negated. In order to stop his his lost world, but then I can't blue any of my monster effects. No shot you're playing through this field? No, there's no way. Because I have to stop these three cards. I don't have any going second cards. And a Logia? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. There's a big boy. The thing is, I'm also locked out of my strategy inherently by Lost World. Which is absolutely terrible for me. The weakest dinosaur player. Target another one? Yes. I'm a noob, but it seems like you're kind of screwed. Oh yeah, definitely. You let it go through? Ooh, neat. I literally can't play through his negates. Just draw Raigeki. He has two negates for the Raigeki. Is Lagi a UR? I'm surprised he's letting the cards go through. 
Yay! Now it's time to use all of my cards and let them get all negated by Appalooza. Maybe he's waiting to see your deck? I mean, it's virtual world. In this situation, you're ham-boned. I'm not ham-boned. Okay, and then we also use this one. I'm kind enough to give you the illusion of a chance. Exactly. Just draw Dark World no more. That's not in your deck. I just need that one card that lets me pick any card from outside of my deck to use. <clears throat> Max C. He's going to let this go through. You could just shut everything down. Oh, okay. <gasps> Fair and balanced. Okay. Then we'll use Lulu next. He let it go through to come back. He's letting some of my effects go through. This is confusing me. Add a card from your deck to your hand. He wants me to think I can fight. Has he not lost? I'm about to go 2-2 two and two right now. Appalooza. <gasps> it's not coming back. I can still go harder. I can still go even further beyond. I can normal summon using this card as a tribute. Believe in the me who believes in you. I'm trying to believe as hard as I can. Okay, and then we can go into... Hmm, can't be sure battle. You have two more monsters of graveyard, different effects and attributes. Or card effects. Ooh, I should go into this one. He can actually survive. Get rid of this one and this one. Believe in the RNG. Believe in the me who believes in you. Let's go, virtual old beast GUG. Make Leah proud. He's just letting me do my plays at this point. Math mech time. Wait, if he lets me go into math mech, he'd have to... Evil Sword Logia can negate the, the summon, though. That's the problem. There's the negate. Okay. I can just bring it back, right? If I use Virtual World Gate, or if I use Roshi, the problem is he still has two more negates and a way to flip all my cards face down. So... If I go into the battle phase and attack... It's math mech time! To get rid of one of the negates. There, now he has one more negate left. Damn it, why do all of these require you to send a card to the graveyard? <laughs> <laughs> then target one virtual world monster in your graveyard, spell does not but negate its effects, then target one card in your hands into the graveyard. We'll just do this. Use Queen Glong. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Use Queen Glong on what? Special summon a monster? Yes, this one. Give him all the cards in the world. Come on, don't interrupt me here. Hi, Mr. Logs. Hello there. Oh, no. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno to flip all my cards face down. Okay. Now I need to banish two cards from my graveyard so I can have my gate live. There's his last negate. 
Wait, I just realized. Why am I playing through his, his, his board? Why didn't I just surrender as soon as I saw I couldn't play through it? Oh, no hand traps. What was that? How many do I even have in this deck? Just six? Oh, no wonder I didn't get any plays done. It also would have been nice if I had drawn the adventure engine. That could have helped definitely. Maybe I should just get rid of this. And just believe in my ability to go second. Or wait. You do have to discard a lot for this deck. Wouldn't Metalfoe's fusion and more copies be prudent? But Water Enchantress is also a good discard. A lot of the cards are good. Uh, we'll save it here. This should be good. Pot of Desires? Maybe. That wouldn't be half bad. No DPE? You can't go into DPE with this deck. You were trying to recover? I literally could not play through his negates. <laughs> he had too many of them. I didn't have any going second cards. Oh. <gasps> Fateful adventure, huh? Alright. <laughs> I guess. Enchantress. Into an enchantress in the grave. No griffin rider today. Banish enchantress for right of Aramisir. You lost because he didn't use ten ye? Shut up. He didn't use ten ye. There, now he has some protection. And then I have this card that I can't use. No hand traps or toggle Andy? What? What hand traps is he gonna use? Is this a bot? Probably not. Battle phase, Lazion the Time Lord. <gasps> Should I even waste my infinite impermanence on this? Either way, I will. Can we get Nuzlocke before Saturday? Leia needs to learn the truth? What? Whoa, easy win. Yeah, pretty much. What happened? Ah, he must have bricked. Did I die? Oh, in the Nuzlocke? Yeah, you did. An actual deck and not gimmicks? Only because the rank's gonna reset soon. Oh my god. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. As long as they can't blow through my back row, I should be fine. I bet Miwa is still alive. You let me die. Miwa is currently carrying the team. Yes. Also, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the allure of darkness. More bricks. Oh, why did I draw into the worst fucking virtual world card in the game? Blackwing Samoon the Poison Wind. Then normal summon this card. Fuck. He did it in the one fucking zone that doesn't have an infinite impermanence. What's with all these rogue decks? What's wrong with rogue decks? I love them. Wait, well, you still alive in the, the Nuzlocke? Dude, almost everybody died. I had to grind off screen just to get him up to an appropriate level so I wouldn't die to the fucking trash. Because not only did everybody die, but I'm also soft locked out of going backwards. They, they literally won't let me go backwards because I have to go through the fucking road. So I could only grind in really high level grass with all of my best Pokemon dead. It was a huge pain in the ass. <gasps> Black Whirlwind. 
Whoa! Target one level four black looming monster in defense position. Banish this card from the graveyard. Do they have a banished one? Oh, they do have a lot of banished ones. How neat. Infinite impermanence. Let's not let them bring that out. I hope somebody clipped my death. <laughs> I hope it was dramatic. I, I, they might have. I don't know. Hope it was worth it. I'm pretty sure I, I died to a random trainer who had Onyx, and I didn't have an out to it. No, I think it was crit. That's probably how he died. It died. I think it died to just a, a normal crit. Ooh, level six now. Sir Log's getting ham boned in Pokemans? No. You're getting ham boned in Pokemans. Pretty sure Leo got crit, yeah? Yeah. We'll get out of the situation he's in. What situation? You guys don't know nothing about nothing. Full armor master. Fuck. That's his Geomath Mech Final Sigma. Do you stream MTG now? No. And sometimes the people send me like MTG stuff. And it's like, I don't know the game. I'm a very casual new player. I can't answer your MTG questions. <laughs> he did not catch a Ponyta. No, I catch this useless like psychic Pokemon that doesn't do anything. Just restart the run? Never. Your out was Miwa? Miwa wasn't high enough level for an out. The Phantom Knights. Stop playing cards. Give up already. You got the mana logs going, just curious? No, 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 I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, because I have that channel, people are sending me questions about me, uh, that kind of stuff. And it's like, dude, I don't, um, I'm a new player. I can't answer your questions. I one time had one guy who sent me, like, a really long message after one of the videos came out. Because we, we released a new series about explaining the ban list in one of the, the the formats of magic and the guy was not happy with um with the video and then went a huge long not I wouldn't say it was a rant he went a really long soliloquy about why the certain cards could be probably unbanned which is like the least important part of those videos that was the problem he had a, like, the videos, they have a format where they explain why the card is banned, um, if the card could probably be unbanned, and how you could fix the card to be unbanned. So it's like three, three parts of it. The most important part is why the card is banned. And he had very long soliloquies on why all of the certain cards could probably be unbanned. I was like, my dude, that is the least important part of the video. I... I'm happy for you that you're you're this invested in it. But like it's not important. And I don't know why you're you're sending this all to me in private messages. So I was like, oh yeah, I guess I should just disable all private messages from my, my servers. Cause I hadn't done that yet, because it was I just created it like a month ago. Because I have DMs turned off everywhere. It's just I sometimes forget to turn them off in some places. And it's like, there's no polite way to tell someone. It's like, I'm too busy to talk to you. Because <laughs> first, I need to explain, okay, so... Here's why I don't really care. Here's why I don't understand what you're saying. And, um... Here's why I don't have time to explain all this to you. That was the first thing I told you to do? 
that I was told to do. It can burn you out so fast to mediums. I was the one who told you that. I remember you tried to explain that to me once, and I was like, you know, I, I was the one who told you that, right? <laughs> it's just like, I created the, you know, the Discord server, the one for the, the Dual Logs channel. The Dual Logs stream, I guess. Like a month ago, so I just forgot to turn off, you know, no direct DMs from this server. I forget to respond to normal DMs. That's true. It's Sue Ships! Top 10 reasons why- No, it's not even that I don't care, it's just I don't know enough about the game to respond to his criticisms. Like, he was going on- a, I'm not gonna call it a rant, because it wasn't a rant. It was just, um... Like, if I had knew, knew more about the game, it would have been somewhat decent criticism, and I could have had a conversation, but I don't know enough about magic to talk about it. And also, he went on way too much. It was- it was too much text. Using all kinds of lingo that I had no idea about. Talking about cards and like and decks in abbreviated ways, you know, like DPE. Like if you said, man, I hate the DPE engine to someone who doesn't play Yu-Gi-Oh, they'd be like, what the fuck is DPE and what the fuck is an engine, you know? There's just a lot of things you have to contextually know. And it was also about an unimportant part of the video. So it's like, you know... If this is the criticism for the unimportant part of the video, it's honestly not super important. But I also, I don't know if you're even correct in your assumptions. Sue Ships Pog. Maybe I should read what this card does. Hmm. Um, sequence based on the materials. You can only use effect once per turn. Guku Ship Shari, draw one card. Gooship Ikari, this card can make a psychic attack to the battle phase once per turn. When your Goon Khan monster special summon from the extra deck inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card opponent controls and destroy it. So it doesn't do anything? Neat! Destroy all spell traps. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. <laughs> Basically. It'd be like, I'm sorry, but I, I, don't, I don't know what you're doing. I, I don't know enough about this discussion to talk with you. And also, I need to explain that to you, which takes time. And also, I'm really fucking busy. Like, oh my god, you have no idea. You guys have any idea how busy I've been this past month? I've been so busy that I've been distracting myself with side projects just to not have to think about doing real work. Let's see here. What is... This card just forces me to summon into one zone, right? Uh, which is one unused main monster zone to your opponent normal special summons a monster. Talk to him sometimes I have been dissociated through the entire conversation. No, I read everything he did. It's just, it would just take too much time to explain why. Um, I just can't have a conversation about this. Because, like, I did respond to it. I was like, okay, yeah, we, we do take criticisms and we're working on these things. And I'll be sure to pass this on to the the scriptwriter, which which I did do. It's just he kept going on after I told him that. He just wanted to show his, his thoughts on this. He didn't actually really want to give criticism. He just wanted me to know his thoughts on magic. I was like, okay. Well, good for you, dude. Happy for you. How does one make a good top 10 video? So, I actually have it down to a science. Like, I actually have videos that I've created explaining in detail how to make a good top 10 video that I spent years developing and practicing. Every time I hire a new editor, I give him one of those videos. I say, watch this video. It will teach you. You will learn the knowledge of the gods. Should I send Nyanyan to the grave? I guess. It, it's incredibly detailed. Basically what it does is it goes over things like, um, you know, 
this this video right here the, the intro should be this long because of retention you should go over these topics because of uh, this is what does well you should avoid these topics because they don't do well you should start your videos like this every time you should do your videos like this Ooh, can I go into VFD no, I don't have shoosh like a rant will go on YouTube what rant Forbidden knowledge. It, the videos are very detailed. Basically, I give them to the script writers. They use those as a, as a guide to write their scripts. And they send them to me. And they're basically able to write the same way I do the videos with that. And then it all works out. And then you can't even tell that I wasn't the one who wrote the script because they're basically writing it in my style. But it's like, this is how the intro should be. This is how you should start every section. This is how the number 10 in one spot should be written exactly. You don't deviate from this formula ever. This is how you write the body of each segment. The starting of it should be explaining the card. You know, what its name is, what the card effect does before you do anything else about the card. Then you explain why the card is on the list, what it does, its interactions in the meta. Then you end off the segment talking about why it deserves a spot on this particular spot on the list. And if it doesn't matter, then you don't mention it. <gasps> DPE! Oh no! What'd you for your top 10 tutorials on my top 10 ways to pick up chicks at Costco ideas? I can send you the the tutorial videos if you if you want. But only Leah, no one else. I can't give anyone else this, this top secret knowledge. This knowledge would destroy your mind if you had it. You'd be like, oh no. It all makes sense. This is how you make entertaining videos which outperform the competitors. Rise, cloud abuse. Wait, that's their whole turn? I can't stop winning, guys. <laughs> I don't mind showing to content creators because usually they all, like, all content creators to an extent are a little bit like... You know, they like to do their own thing. They don't like to be told what to do. So if I showed them my system, they'd be like, this is neat for you, but I'm going to keep doing what I want. Plus, it's very specific to top 10. Like, if you're not doing top 10 videos, the information's still useful, but it's it's very, like, hyper-specific to that category. Because, like, if I was writing a video essay, because I also know how to write video essays. Like, some of my most popular videos are video essays. And... Um, I wrote out a thing because one of my script writers wanted to write a video essay. And they sent me their first draft and I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> like almost unsalvageable. <laughs> He's like, I know you spent a lot of time on this because this is like, you know, a 30 minute video in, in, in writing, but we have to scrap it all because this is bad. Here, let me, it's easier for me just to make a tutorial video to explain how to make a video essay than it would be to go over the script with you. So I sent it back and I had him rewrite the whole thing and he sent it to me again. I was like, this second draft is terrible. What the fuck? Did you even read my note? <laughs> so I, I rewrote the whole thing for him. Well, half of it. And I gave it back and I was like, okay, do this, 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 and this, and it'll, it'll be good. And he sent me back another one. I was like, this is almost readable now. Give me one more revision. Here's some more notes. And then he sent it back and I was like, oh, this is actually a, a, a decent video now. What the hell? It was, uh, yeah, it was, there was a lot of revisions with it. I was like, oh my, because the thing is, the scriptwriter had written a lot of top 10 videos before, so they knew how to write scripts. It's just like, a video essay is so much different from a top 10. Man, that was a lot of work. If I'm in this position, I was about to cry. I mean, in, in this job, you have to be like, there's revisions all the time. Like on the WoW channel, if a WoW editor sends in a video that's completed, they know that they're basically just doing a part one of the video. It's not done yet. Oh, so that's why they set the card. Because of all the revisions that have to come next. Okay, Griffin Rider. The Rideable Dragon. Poor dude. Psh. I had to go through the script. Poor me. I should make a video. I should uh, make a more because the, the tutorial video I made for him was more 
for that one specific video. It's not general enough. I have so many tutorial videos, it's crazy. Like, because we hire on so many people that I just make a tutorial video for everything. So, like, when we have a new script writer or a new editor, I send them all the tutorials. It's like, just follow this exactly and you'll be good to go. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. And Ash Blossom? God damn it. I'm trying to think. It's going to come back. That's fine. I have infinite impermanence to stop, but I, I don't have any other plays if he destroys my GG because I'm reliant on just drawing into another virtual world card. Top 10 TLs insult people to the face. Insulted? Uh, if you equate criticism to insulting someone, then you've probably never been in a creative field before. Preparing a science paper for Elver Nature. It's just, uh, video essays are very difficult to write, even more so than top 10s. Top 10s are hard to write too. Like, I know why a lot of people who venture into making top 10s because they think my videos are doing well. They're like, I can do that too. Top 10s are easy. They make their videos and they don't perform as well. And they wonder why. It's like, I know why. I know exactly why. I could go through the video and comb through it and tell you exactly what you did wrong. For one, don't start your video with two minutes of intro. <laughs> hey guys, it's it's me, Noob Sniper 666. Today we're gonna go over Noob Sniping. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Uh, follow me on on Twitter. I'm trying to hit that 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 goal, 10,000 followers. Uh, also, I had. Um, I had Lucky Charms for breakfast today. That was pretty good. We were out of milk, so I had to go to the store and get some milk. And the craziest thing happened. I know this is a top 10 video, but just hear me out. I'm going to talk about my breakfast for a little bit in my in my highly edited scripted video. So anyways, we went over to the store to buy some more Lucky Charms. And then, oh, we're two minutes in the video. We should probably get started. No, no, no. We, we still have more to talk about that has nothing to do with this video. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen videos like that. I watched a video like that yesterday. <laughs> you know, I started um, the the magic videos, and I had so many people in the comments like, "Man, I love how this video just gets straight to the point and doesn't have two minutes of intros or or, or begging for subs and likes and sponsors." So, what do you guys have for breakfast today? I'm very interested in Chat's breakfast dietary needs. I had tuna and egg. It was delicious. Ayo. Coffee. Don't you like my tutorial video and half the video is literally some bullshit you don't care about? Yeah, it's because most people who, who make the videos are just doing it because they, they, like, they want to make the video because they have knowledge on specific subjects, but they also don't have knowledge on how to make videos correctly. I'm glad you all ate breakfast. Let me give up. I I was ham boned out on that ash blossom. Eggs and toast? Ooh, that sounds good. Oatmeal? Eel. One of my best videos was the one I got straight to the point of the difference between P5 and P5 Royale. Yeah, there's just a lot that goes into a video that makes it a lot more watchable. And you would know if you had my tutorial vids. Oh, highlight message. Have you ever tried to use Linear Equation Canon on a deck? It is... Linear Equation Canon requires a lot of setup, surprisingly enough. It's not really something you can just throw in a deck. You have to build your deck around it. And it's not a card you build your deck around. Yeah, Virtual World. Hard stuck plat streamer. I'm doing my best. I just need to draw better. Okay. Virtual world gate. Activate. Oh, I probably should have got um Griffin Rider on the field first. 
Griffin Rider. We'll send a nib to the graveyard. I skipped breakfast. But breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So adventure is a go for virtual world? Yeah, adventure works very well with virtual world. <laughs> bacon, eggs, and pancake? Ooh, that sounds good. I want bacon, eggs, and pancake. Okay, we'll send Nyan Nyan to the grave. Special summon this card. Special summon a card. We'll send Gate to the grave. Then we'll activate my Hime Virtual World, selecting Gate. And then we'll send another Quinglong to the grave for next turn. Then we'll search from the deck. Roshi! Then we special summon Nyan Nyan from the graveyard. Nyan Nyan! Okay, and then we go into a Virtual World Kiyubi Shen Shen. Mother spider mate win? I know, right? I've been asking them that for ages. I always wake up every day and I'm like, where's my mother spider mate at? But then I don't see it anywhere. How'd you get an absolutely cracked hand? What does this card do? I don't know. I'm going to click on it. Select a card to return. Okay. And then virtual world... Uh, I kind of want to shush in the grave. Shush. Lao Lao. Select a card to special summon. Uh, if I go into a level 6, I can have two level 6s on the field. This is a tuner, though. This is also a fucking tuner. Why are they all fucking tun- I mean, hacking tuners. Oops. <gasps> Don't make fun of me. I'm trying my best. Wait, how can I go into math mech? <gasps> oh, it's not a tuner. I'm just stupid. I didn't say a swear word. I've never once said a swear word in my life. You can't read. Shut up. <laughs> I think I'm going to puke. Hey, this is uh, activate the effect. No. You should keep Draco back in your hand instead of Quinglog's effect and grave and reattach from there. Oh my god, that's genius. Why did nobody tell me that before? The top 10 Dulog's gaslighting moments. I I have never gaslighted before in my life. And also, you guys know gaslighting's a bad thing, right? You guys have to stop joking about that. People are going to think I actually do it. Wait, I just noticed the monster card zone is bigger than the spell and trap card zone. Like this token is is slightly bigger than the spell traps. So is this. But you do? No, I don't. <laughs> Here, we'll do shush now. Good job, Pomu. I knew you could do it. Are you gaslighting about gaslighting? I'm not gaslighting. Now it's going to bother me? Wait, what is... Destroy their trash <laughs> The card size? Oh yeah! The little small ones are... Spell traps are smaller than the, the monster zones. I didn't even notice that. Until recently. Are you gatekeeping though? I don't gatekeep shit. Oh, thanks for the sub, uh, Hayabusa. They're gonna surrender for sure? Probably. Let me, um, send Leo the tutorial videos before I forget. Evenly matched. If they have one other negate in their hand, they can stop this. Nope. Hmm. A second evenly match. Select cards to banish.
Um... Ah, here they are. Water Enchantress. I could go into Quinglong, but then I can't use the effect. I think we can just call it line. Let's pull some of this card from your hand. Why would I want to do that? When I can search, when the match was evenly. There, now we have Rite of Aramasir, which I can't use because I control a uh, token. Actually, I could have just put Water Enchanters in the graveyard with Quinglong to have a Virtual World card in my hand. <gasps> Why did anyone ever tell me that? Uh, I can't find. There it is. Okay. Mm. The right of Aramisir. In case you're wondering why I banished all my good shit and left a token, is because the token can't be banished face down. I got ham boned. By an excellent going second card. Chat, backseat harder. You're failing him. What are you talking about? I'm doing great. You guys don't know nothing about nothing. Excellent. I have a question for chat. Do you ever have someone message you? Asking if you think they're annoying, but they are kind of annoying, but you also don't think that's that bad. What do you say to that? <laughs> He's like, I know I'm annoying you. I was like, yeah, but I don't want to admit to that. Is it me, Wabel? No, I didn't say that. Tell them yes. <laughs> I did think of that. <laughs> Annoying is a strong word, but then again, so is tolerate. <laughs> you say they goofy. I, I've dodged it so many times, but they keep bringing it up. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? Just leave me alone. If they annoy me, I don't interact with them. Yeah, I know. Shirau. That's what I do, too. But, you know, sometimes you have to interact with them. Well, now that you keep asking, it's getting annoying for sure. Yeah, that's true, but then, you know... If they're not an emotionally stable person, then they're probably going to take it the worst possible way, and then... It's going to be even more annoying to deal with. I know it's a strong word, as strong as the word friend. <laughs> we know it's Miwa? Dude, let me tell you something about Miwa. Miwa in DMs is like super nice and completely not unhinged. She is nothing like her online uh, persona. Or at least to me, I should say. And because of that, we rarely talk. There's not much to talk about when someone is extremely polite and nice to you. Am I different? Leah in DMs is exactly the same as she is on streams. <laughs> Lamau. Leah exposed. Not like when she's talking. It's like night and day with Miwa, but with, with Leah, it's basically the same thing. She even has like the she even has emotes that simulate how she talks on stream. Do 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 cancelled Leah. No no no, Leah's Leah's great. 
The only problem with Leah is it's impossible to have a conversation with her. So it's better to just not even try. And unless it's on like a stream or something or a cold lab. Miwa has censorship words and thought filter calibrated differently from others. Rutro. It's better to not try. <laughs> I'm so fucking dead. I can't believe I lost to Sue Ships after that godly starting hand. Way to talk about Costco Mills and DMs. She rarely talks about that on streams, though. Like, Miwa, you'd break her heart if she ever heard that. Wait, what about Miwa? I didn't say anything bad about Miwa. Every one time she was drunk and she messaged me a whole bunch of things like, Oh, I like you live so much. You're my best friend. It was like over and over and I just replied with like, you know, thumbs up emojis. Good for you. With this duel or your relationship with Leah? What relationship? We're work colleagues. <gasps> Obedience school? Yeah! Maybe he'll cry. Something new to tease her about tonight? Does she stream tonight? Oh, fuck. Not called by the grave. It's called being friends? Dude, I'd love to be friends with Leah. And with Miwa, we, we basically... Oh, actually, I shouldn't reveal that. I guess it sounds more sinister if I don't. We basically are friends. We just kind of pretend not to be for her streams because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the colleague zone. Oh, thanks for the resub, Ski Goblin. Tri Brigade for Regent. And colleagues zoned again? What are you talking about? Out of all of my colleagues, you're one who I would definitely want to be friends with. If anything, it's the other way around. And Carass. <gasps> Can I plow through this field? The only thing they have is Tri Brigade Revolt, right? She broke you, huh? No, she's just, like, really nice. And also, she's entertaining, too. Like, you know, just the two best things. Me was simultaneously just a really nice person. And also very entertaining on her streams. The colleague zone has been lifted. Well, I mean... I'm not going to admit to it. Next time I talk to her, I'm going to keep saying it. But I'm just letting you guys know. You know, I don't actually hate her or anything. I respected his boundaries. Mind broken the dual logs five. I remember on, uh, whatchamacallit, on Friday, you know, I took like the night stream off. It was my it was my scheduled time to be sad because it was the two month anniversary of my friend's death. And then uh, Miwa hit me up and we played we played Overwatch together and I was like that was that was actually pretty nice. It was off stream when we just talked about YouTuber stuff and Twitch streams. My favorite topic. I just love that conversation. If there is a YouTuber or streamer who has a Q and A, I'm all over that shit. Because I just love hearing the inner machinations of the world. So that I can keep learning more and more. From all walks of life. I don't care how big they are. Let's see. Water Enchantress of the Temple. <gasps> Should I go into Water Enchantress? They don't have anything, do they? Sure, let's go for it. Dump beer drum and search revolt. Did they search revolt? I wasn't paying attention. Drop Jupiter on the spider? Oh, that's a good idea. You also don't hate your colleagues? Of course not. 
I respect them in their various different boundaries. I remember one time there was this colleague I had who was like, um, we should totally hang out sometime. You know, we both play Overwatch. We should play Overwatch together. And I was like, sure, okay. And so when they were on Overwatch and I was free, I hit them up. I was like, hey, you want to play Overwatch? And they were just so incredibly put out by it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're the one who fucking offered. Why does it feel like I'm the one who's who's putting you out? It's like, no, it's fine. It's okay. And then I never asked them ever again to do anything except for work stuff. Collaborations. Sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes they, they offer it just to be nice on streams, but they don't actually mean it. This is why I'm, I'm hesitant. <gasps> Melfi puppy. I'm gonna get my fateful adventure popped before I have a chance to go into my other shit. Did he have Melfi puppy on the field this whole time and I just didn't notice? Play StarCraft custom games with me? Dude, I tried for years to get my one of my best friends to play StarCraft co-op with me. And um, she would always say like, yeah, maybe some other time. I was like, oh, we'll do it after this. And then like after a few years, she's like, I don't want to play StarCraft. That doesn't sound fun to me. And I, I was I was like, oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> We'll do something else. <laughs> well, I would cry. I really wanted to play the co-op missions and I didn't, I only have, she's like the only friend I have who plays video games. But my other friend, uh, she, she, she we weren't friends because she played video games. Fiko, you've played StarCraft? The Link 2 who searches the Link 2. I mean, Leah, if you want to play StarCraft, I'm all for it. I was trying to get my, my actual friend to play with me for years, and then she told me no. And that was the end of it. I still want to play through those co-op missions. VTuber StarCraft collab? The thing is, here here's the thing. I should mention, it's not that I was desperate just to play it with anybody. I was desperate to play it with, you know, my friend, because it would be enjoyable. It's more enjoyable to play games with people you like, you know, as a person, than it is just to play with anyone else. If I really wanted to play the co-op missions, I could. If I really want to do something, I'd do it. Like, that's how I do everything in my life. The thing is, there are some things I just want to do with other people who I also just have, uh who I jive with, who I have good chemistry with. And that's one of those things. So I can't just do the co-op missions with anyone. It would have to be with someone who I thought was actually fun to hang out with. Like with D&D, with &D, I can pretty much get anyone in my games and I'll have fun. So that's why I, I do D&D &D games every week. Because if I want to do something, I do it. But some of those things I just can't force people into doing. <laughs> After Turbo Fu, I've been able to rest my hands so much, I might actually be able to play again. Yeah, you see, like, Leah, I would love to play with her because she's great. But, you know, if I ask some other people, it might not be. I remember one time there was this person who really wanted to be my friend. And I felt bad for her one day. So I was like, okay, let's let's play video games together today. You know, just you and me. We'll, we'll play it. Uh, whatever you want. I'll download the games and we'll, we'll have a whole night of it. And uh, I was so bored, I thought I was going to fall asleep. I was like, oh, okay, let the game replay next. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not tired, just my normal voice. I'm not yawning. Melvi Tri Brigade. I'm still going. He can't stop all of my moves. What games? I don't remember what the games were. The games themselves weren't half bad. I even like enjoyed some of them. 
Like, I remember one of them was Divinity 2. Divinity 2 is really fun. <laughs> so, like, afterwards, I asked one of my friends that I like hanging out with, like, hey, we should play Divinity 2 together. This game's fun. And she was like, okay. And we played it, and it was a lot more fun. Melvie's getting the robot. <laughs> Level 3. Lies, it's not your real voice. Sit down. Damn it, stop disrupting my plays, you asshole. Do I have Shush in the grave? I need to play in to play Divinity 2. With. Divinity 2 is so much fun. It's basically fucking... Um, D and D. It's as close as you can get to an actual D and D game. Oh, <gasps> I can go into Ultimate Tzulkin. Oh, I can go into Geo Mathmech Final Sigma, but that's not gonna do shit. If I go into this one, I can beat over all of their cards. So you only play video games with baddies, is what you're saying? With baddies? What the hell does that mean? Playing a StarCraft 2 custom mess, basically turn-based Among Us. Wait, really? I missed some Cafe Fico messages. Cafe Fico! His name is Nordic Birch. Mafia was so much fun in StarCraft. What's Mafia? All those custom games. Digimon stream win? When they created an online TCG. Boring people have the right to be friends, don't I? Mm, it's not that they're boring per se, it's just they were, um, they just don't gel very well together. It's, you know, the chemistry. Sometimes you just, you just connect with people better than others. And it's like, here's the thing. If you think you're a boring person, you can just improve and get better. And try not to be boring. You know, the age-old advice, just be yourself if you want friends. It's actually a shortened version of be the best version of yourself. Because if you're just constantly unchanging... And you think everything I do is, is, is just the best and I should never have to improve. You might get lucky. Or you should probably try to, uh, whatchamacallit. Improve yourself a little bit. If you're just always an asshole, maybe you should improve, you know? I would die for this. What is it? Did you play Among Us with other Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers sometimes, Mr. Logs? Uh, that sounds fun. <laughs> I could probably set that up. Look at this. I'm pretty sure I have a manager for a year now, I think. I have been a manager for a year now. Fell Plague? I thought I told you to stop opening with that. We get better soon. Did Stevie on it? It would be hilarious. I have contacts with a lot of people. I could get a lot of people into an Among Us collaboration. It never occurred to me to set one up, though. Oh my goodness gracious! I need to get Quinglong in the grave. Quinglong, go to the graveyard! Someone remind me, set up Among Us collaboration. Special summon. I low key would play it if off stream too. <laughs> I like Among Us. I've played it a few times in like Discords. I mean, in my Discord where I set it up. And Lulu, send Metal Foes Fusion to the graveyard. Activate. Virtual World Kalut. Okay. 
Let's see, off the top of my head, the people who I can ask would probably say yes. It would be, um... A lot of people, actually. I know I could probably get Miwa into anything. Lee already said she was probably interested. I can probably get Ame. And Jade. And Fiko. And maybe Lily. The time zone on that would probably be different. Difficult. Uh, maybe Nova, if I asked her in enough advance. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Another Queenglong. Lily can do most times. Confei Fiko also has a, that, that messed up time zone too. And then of course Stevie. I could even ask some of the bigger YouTubers. I could ask uh Let's see, Virtual World. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to add that. I thought it was sending to the graveyard. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot of people I could ask. It would probably be out, it would be down for it. Oh no, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. <laughs> PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, yeah, all of them. PewDiePie and and the Mister of the Beasts. Mistakes are no, I meant like Yugi Yu-Gi-Oh YouTubers. What's the max player for Among Us? <gasps> Ooh, Lao Lao, that's not half bad. Okay, then we can send um, this dude to the graveyard. TGS, oh. Oh, this one is a non-tuner. Right. <gasps> I can go into the ultimate to Zulkin. And then set Draco back. Activate the to Bring out Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Wonder happened if you brought Gamer Bite back? I ain't got time for Gamer Night. I used to do Gamer Night back when I didn't have um the streams. Remember in the before times before I streamed? Regularly. Good times. It's the loudest duel has said no. It has say something, lol. That no. What no? What did I say no to? Go to MBT DZ if we'd be fit. Yeah, MBT SIBO. I don't know if I can get SIMO on, but maybe everybody else you guys mentioned. That's only like a maybe. Usually, here's the thing about content creators. As long as they don't dislike you, they're usually up for anything. As long as they know that you already have an established audience and you're not using them to just try to get clout. So for the most part, I can ask a lot of those people to do anything and they might just be down for it if it sounds fun. Because I already have the, the pre-established audience where they know I'm not just trying to use them for, for clout. Because I already have a lot of it. Lightning Storm Inc. <gasps> they can't lightning storm me. I can just negate it with with the wandering griffin rider Because like if someone messages you and they have like no followers yet and they're like hey, let's collab It's like I don't know you dude Sometimes I say no to collabs if it's just genuinely and too busy Hmm true Under those circumstances, I just like you know which my call? I don't want to give away my secrets. Actually, never mind. Anyone but Farfa? Farfa's the best, though. Don't you mean we should have more Farfa? Good afternoon, Mr. Logs. Good afternoon, Iratatsi. The thing is, I'm always busy. It's just... If I really want to do something with someone, I'll make the time. Because I, I'm, I'm good enough in my... Uh, in my profession, whatchamacallit, my profession is, is very flexible in the amount of time I can make for other people. Because technically I can do my work whenever I want, wherever I want. There's no set time frames. 
The only time I'm usually busy is when I already have collaborations planned with other people, you know? More Farfa? Yeah, Farfa is great. I've known him for a long time. We were actually planning a collaboration together like four years ago when he was just getting started. He messaged me. He's like, we should do a collab. And I was like, okay, what do you have in mind? And we couldn't think of anything. <laughs> so it never happened. <laughs> collab, I average one viewer per week. Yeah, I have like things where I have I have rules set in place where you need to actually have already done your own thing on your own first. You need to have uh, you don't even need an established audience. You just need to show that you consistently, you know, upload or stream. So like if you're just starting out, you know, like you haven't even streamed for a week yet and then you, you reach out to me, I'll probably say no. But I'll give you the reasons. I'll give you parameters. I was like, if you keep up your thing consistently for six months, come back to me. I don't care what your numbers are. But also, sometimes I'll just reach out to other people if they don't even reach those parameters. It's like, hey, I like what you do. Let's do something together. If you help set up Among Us stuff, tell me. I'll help you somehow. Yeah, that's what I'd probably do. I would just hit Felbleg to do it. He's my... He's one of my channel managers. He'd be like, hey, I need you to reach out to all these people for me. Wow, destroying it, raw dogging it. Or I could actually get Mogu to do to do it. She might actually be better for that job. Collab with NASA win. That and the enthusiasm. Raw dogging it. I have no idea what they're talking about. The raw dogs from the loot. Do you have dedication to stream? Seems like the right question. I'm the general helping stuff for all the channels, and yeah, Mogu might be better. Yeah, maybe. I totally forgot, because usually Mogu's job is just to yell at people who aren't doing their jobs. <laughs> the unsay so logs? Hey. Don't call me out. I was going to say, um... I assume you'd be inviting Mogu. I forgot that Mogu also streams. <laughs> I was literally watching her stream last night. Yeah, we could invite Mogu too. She's not really a Yu-Gi-Oh streamer though. Okay. Quinglong. Collab with the Duel Logs, Duel Logs. I should. Well, I should stream on the Duel Logs, Duel Logs channel one of these days. That'd be funny. How do I get that job? I can tell very goodly. What job? Dude, we have so many people applying, we have like a vetting process now. We had one guy who applied who sent in like a... A very well-made introduction video. He's like, here's, here's top 10 reasons you should hire me. It was, it was a very impressive video. I hired him almost immediately. I got Moji would love to join. She's doing five streams in a row this week, which is pretty great. Whoa. Yeah, I guess we could have Momiji too. Momiji is another VTuber. She's in our, um, she's in my D&D game. I sometimes forget, like, some of the people I interact with in my, it's just like non-work life are also streamers. <laughs> Not non-streaming life. It's like, oh yeah, they're they're also a streamer too. I forgot about that. That's a power play, right? Where is Shenzhen? I didn't go into Shenzhen yet. I think I remember Momiji. Yeah, I met Momiji uh, from the Vanguard streams, and we got to talking. And then she told me she was uh, into D and D, and I was like, dude, we need a D and D player. You should join. And she did. Select a card. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I can just send to the graveyard. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I meant you're posing to your eventful wife with the top 10 reasons you should marry me. 
I'll probably die alone. There's no reason to to make a video like that. How do I not have any other virtual world cards? All you need are two virtual world cards to do all your plays. Half my deck is more than half the deck is virtual world cards. Same bro, you won't. Me was there. Me what is a colleague, not uh, what you call it. When it comes to romantic interests, I don't consider fans or fellow colleagues to even be in the running because it's incredibly unprofessional. And as long as you just remove that as an idea from your mind, it's so much easier to just interact with them because you're just doing it to be friends or for, for colleague reasons, work reasons. At least maybe for the health insurance? I pay for my own health insurance. It's only like $400 a month. It's not that much. Dang, I'm winning all these games. All I have is the adventure engine. I don't even do anything else. <gasps> if I win, I rank up. Oh, I can do it. The best reason in these trying times. We was on the other side of the planet. I remember I, I had a crush on this girl who lived in Canada. And I used to fantasize about moving to Canada. Like, I don't care about moving if I like the person. Although, that never happened because she told me, and I quote, I can never see myself ever being in a relationship with you. And I was like, you know what? Fair. <gasps> Agents! The Canada Vlogs. Looking for a Canadian husband to help with me get citizenship. <laughs> you know, there's, I used to joke about stuff like that on streams. And then I'd get like fans who would message me asking me out. And I was like, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm not actually looking for anyone. And I felt kind of bad having to reject them, so I stopped making jokes about, you know, those kinds of things. Because I didn't want to invite people to uh, be like, oh, they're making jokes about, you know, not being in a relationship or, or being lonely. This is my chance. This is my in. It's like, no, it's, it's really not. Hmm, I need Rite of Aramisir. <gasps> oh, yeah, I can just... Discard Water Enchantress. Wait, what did Phil Plague say? Canadian here? No. <laughs> oh my god. Joke about everything like I do? No, if you joke about things, people will take you seriously. Like, you know. If you joke about that thing, it's very easy to assume that someone is... You know, actually lonely. And they actually are just looking for someone. So if, if someone who, you know, by their own admission... Has never gone out with anyone before. And is lonely. And then they turn you down... Well, you're just gonna feel awful about that. You're like, wow, if this person told me though, then maybe I'm just not likable. And it's just like, it just feels bad to have to say that. To say, no, I don't date fans. It's morally wrong in my opinion. Well, I don't know if it's morally wrong. It's, it's more of a morally thing I've taken upon myself to impose. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. I'm not going to fuck this up this time. Long, long. When you joke about feet all the time. Well, I joke about feet sparingly. Because I don't like feet. And I don't want people to think I actually like feet. And I'm just being ironic. Unlike Leah, who jokes about feet because she probably might. There will always be an imbalance. Yeah, it's morally wrong. I mean, I find it uncomfortable. But there have been some YouTubers who've had big success with it. Although I definitely wouldn't advise it to uh, other other YouTubers. Oh wait, I should probably bring this out so I have my negate live. We love breaking the rules here. 
No, we should not break rules. Do I have a shush in the grave? I do. So if I target this one, I can send a Quinglong to the grave. Quinglong. I don't like feet. I mean, I'm sure you think you don't. But do you? You think you do, but you 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 might. We'll add this one, a non-tuner, Draco back, I forgot we can do this, and then Draco back equips to my adventure token. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> the gaslight logs. Shut up, I'm not gaslighting anybody, you guys are, are gaslighting yourselves. Leo feet. Hey, I'm not the one who makes the feet jokes, you know? Oh, <gasps> Shen Shen! Look, look everybody. It's, it's the Shen Shen. Oh fuck, I don't have Shush in the grave. I thought I had a Shush in the grave. God damn it, there's no Shush. Do, 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 do. I'm too mad to say hi, Shen Shen. Wait, mad about what? I didn't even say anything that wasn't true. <laughs> oh, I could have got Shush in the grave if I just put that over there. Damn it, if this was an attack position, I could have won. No! And now Leah's mad at you? No, she's not. I think. I started the meme in the channel and it will forever be my greatest achievement. The one thing I'm proud of. So glad I got to use, use the emote. Yeah, you're the one who commissioned the emote. What are you saying? Leah likes feet? We both know robots don't like feet. Oh, that's true. Robots don't care for, for human things. I'm never actually mad at logs. Yeah, some people will take, like, friendly banter a little bit too seriously. Ooh, you shall become immortal. Even if it's robot feet? Yes. <gasps> They're playing sulfa chords. Add a Silver Core Pendulum Monster from your deck or extra deck face up. You can do that. That ain't gonna do shit. Um, did I miss anything? You're trying to reach Diamond? Yes, I will reach Diamond. Just you wait. <laughs> Sulfa Chords. I guess we can do this now. We can activate Shush. Come on, let me use the effect. I know I have two cards I can banish. Oh, do I not have two cards I can banish? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, fuck, I don't. <gasps> he likes it more when we're disappointed in him? Wait, what? Just disappointed? Sulfur cord. That's fine. Dude, I was watching this video that Moist Critical put out where he was talking about like there's this fetish guys have called like piggy banking or something. Where all they do is give their money to beautiful women who barely know them because they like to be demeaned. P pay pigs? I was like, man, I gotta stop joking about this. <laughs> People are gonna think I'm like them. <laughs> Findom is was it called Findom? No, because I a lot of a lot of um of my colleagues have like you know the 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 redeem for call me worthless and I redeem it a lot because I think it's funny. Peg piggies. Yeah. 
Well, it's not really that. It was just more the the, the call me worthless redeem thing. It's like maybe I shouldn't redeem it so much. They're gonna think I actually like this. Financial domination, Findom. Findom is finished with enjoying having monetary control over someone. So, like, if you're sugar mommy, that is Findom. No, that's like the opposite. They they enjoy giving away their stuff to other people. We, the chat, are worthless. The worthless redeems. I think the worthless redeems are neat. Yeah, so I just call them pay pigs. Oh, <gasps> Master Hyperion. Holy shit, what does this card do? He's gonna combo off on me because I don't know my combos. We stole it from you? Yeah, and I stole it from Minnie. I like it. Oh my god, it's 3200 attack. My one weakness, cards with more than 3000 attack. No, no, I, I get it. Like, uh... We we all understand in context that it's all just a huge a huge joke, but I, I I hope we do. But maybe you know if you overuse a joke too much, then it gets a little bit suspicious. So I gotta I should probably stop redeeming it so much. You know, call me worthless. Are you sure? You're worthless, you piece of garbage. See, because that was from a, a worthless redeem. Why I pay to call it worthless when I can call it to you for free? Nobody calls me worthless for free. All the people in my life are too positive uh, affirmations. They're all too, too, too nice to me. I... It's nice to have the opposite, you know? I'm too much of a, a high achiever for people to call me worthless IRL. I know something like that jokingly and they actually got a fetish? Well, it's more like they probably discovered it. Might have started off as a joke and they're like, oh, I actually like this. I mean, which is fine if that's the case for you. I ain't, I ain't judging. Activate Water Enchantress of the Temple. When is the BFE for Miwa? All right. So Miwa had a redeem for, for GFE, Scrub GFE, but she, she got rid of the redeem because she was embarrassed by it. And then she put up a, uh, a community, like, pool in order to get it back. And uh, I made a deal with her where I would give her her BFE for a week if she brought it back early. And she did, but she hasn't given me any of the, the prompts yet. The negotiator logs. Yeah, exactly. Personalized BFE of whatever. And I was like, I don't care... If it's a little bit embarrassing, because I know how hilarious it is when you do it on streams. <laughs> it's personalized BFE. I don't know what the fuck she's going to have me say, but I'm pretty sure she probably just won't do it and we'll just bring it back. But if she does, I'll totally fulfill the promise. I don't make empty promises. Big friend experiment. What? Let's banish this one. And... Long, long. I saw much I donated to bring it back, and then she actually decided to put up a goal. Yeah, and she ended the goal early because I, uh, we, we struck a deal. Sounds like quality content. I don't know if she'll actually, uh... Redeem it, though. Leah has an obsession. I'm pretty sure Leah's obsession with it is 100% genuine. Big finger enlargement. Leah, if you want to make a similar deal, hit me up. There's this uh, certain pink haired character you play that, uh. Guilty as charged. Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer. Destroyer. Don't give him ideas. 
Big finger enlargement. I actually don't really know how to go from here. I have a my Hime in my hand, but I don't really know. Let's see. I, I kind of want a Shush in the grave, so we'll target Klinglong. You guys gotta work hard for Flora, or it isn't as special. Flora likes feeling special. Hmm. So no dice. Is that what I'm hearing? Wait, does this have a negate? Tell me this card's name because that monster's name and the game's effects. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can banish one fairy monster. Yeah, we'll activate Shush to pop this card. The Brazilian flower enlarger. Flora deserves channel points. She's worth it. <gasps> what the hell is this doing? Oh! It's a sanctuary in the sky. That's fine. Does BFA mean bring Flora everything? Yes. Select a card to return to the deck. These two. Bexia El Exordio. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Shoosh. Yay, the effect still resolves. Woot woot. Oh, <gasps> Nyan Nyan. Did I already bring back Shen Shen this turn? I don't think I did. Activate Virtual World Gaten. Uh, decrease its level by three. Go into Cloud Castle. Ah, heckin' love VFD. I haven't brought out VFD a single time. Oh my god, I just realized that. Okay, <laughs> and then... We can use this card to reset one of my banished cards. Are we almost to diamond? Yes. Cloud Castle Gaming, I'm trying. Okay, and then we have Shen Shen back with its effect turned on. Yeah. Tried to disable my effects of Shen Shen. Are you crazy? Hmm. I can't really do anything else from here until I go into via. Oh, I have game. I didn't even notice. The BM logs. <laughs> Sorry for the stupid out of context question, but do we know how much time it takes for TCG sets to get the master duel? Like, when can we expect Terra Elements, for example? Uh, we don't know, but it looks like they're about a year behind on most things. Oh, <gasps> I ranked up. I did it. Sweaty gamer time. Okay, I've been streaming for two hours. I gotta go. I didn't think I'd really rank up too much. Ooh, plat four. That means I can almost go up to diamond tier one. But I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Who's, who's streaming right now? I have no idea. There's a lot of people streaming. Oh yeah, we're like in the middle of the day. Everybody streams at this time. Bye, dual logs. Thanks for the stream. You're mighty welcome. <gasps> Okane-chan is streaming. The drama really do be happening. Oh, we should raid... um. We should raid Distant Coder. Apparently there's a drama happening. See you logs and logettes. See ya. Thanks for the stream. Bye bye. Pleasure like always. Of course, of course. I love drama. 